TV Power Up, serving photovoltaic contractors and integrators with practical information and answers. This is Tim Pelega for PV Power Up. In this episode, we're going to talk about connectors for PV modules. Now, these connectors are used to daisy chain or connect panels together out in the field. You can often order panels without connectors on them, but if you're going to be putting them in a string of five, six, or 15 or more in one string, it's very convenient and really speeds up installation if you have a connector. Now, not all panels have the same type of connector. This first panel, we've grabbed some uh, samples out of the warehouse here. This is a Kyocera panel, and Kyocera panels come with an MC4 connector. This is the new requirement from the NEC code, which is going to require and that is being adopted in some municipalities and locations that require the connectors to lock once they're put together and then also require a tool to separate them. So if someone's up on a roof or out in a field of PV panels, they don't just miscellaneously pull them apart because you can get a big arc when that happens. Down here, we're going to take a look at a Solyndra panel. A Solyndra panel is a, is a new type of technology and they have a uh, Tyco connector and these Tyco connectors are very similar to the MC connectors they're also a locking connector. Now next we're going to take a look at the unisolar panels that have an older style MC3 connector on them. These are a couple demonstration unisolar panels they're shorter than the actual panels the real panels are 10 or 18 feet long but for this demonstration they're very helpful. These have the MC3 connectors on them and we have male and female connectors and if we were connecting these together you may have uh, anywhere from 10, 11, 12 if you're using the smaller panels maybe 20 or more panels in a string or in series. So when you're out in the field and you notice these don't have the locking type connectors uh, Unisolar will be switching over to a locking type connector probably in 2010. So you take these connectors and you just push them together. These are exterior rated connectors as are the other connectors we were looking at earlier. We want to make sure that they're snugly pushed all the way together. Now these do hold together really well. They're rated to be out in the weather. But once we get a string of these put together, they're daisy chained together, we're going to take and probably either make some whips or if we have a break in the string where we're running a string of panels and then have a space and another set of panels, we may have to have a jumper. But this is a, a whip and it has a connector on one end and then just a, a stripped wire on the other. We connect those at the end of the string, push those together, and then, and keep in mind once again that the string out in the field is going to be longer than this. We take then the negative and the positive and the positive goes into the combiner box. This is a very small combiner box and these just uh, are screwed in just like you would on a typical circuit breaker panel board and then the negative goes into the bus bar at the bottom and then the wires come out the top. Johnny Rinks is going to show us how to make these uh, connectors either before you go out to the field or in the field. Hi, my name is Johnny. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to crimp the MC4 connectors onto the wires, which in turn attach the Kyocera panels to each other. So, we start out with our strippers, which strip the wire, which strip the tad of insulation off the end of the wire. This exposes just a little bit of the copper so we can in turn take the pin and attach it onto the wire. What I like to do is first place the pin, the wings into the holes of the crimper. This allows the pin to stay in place and then I can take the copper part and insert it right into the pin. Just squeeze down until it fully ratchets and it releases. As you can see, the pin is crimped to the wire. After this stage, 
we take the actual plastic connector, the clip, and you just insert it over the pin and it clicks in place. There's the click. Then we just tighten it up until it's properly sealed. We would like to thank our sponsor, Innovatus Solar, a turnkey integrator and distributor of PV modules, inverters, and all the additional equipment to install a state-of-the-art photovoltaic system. Visit Innovatus Solar at innovateusolar.com to find a dealer, purchase PV equipment, inquire about dealerships, or speak with a salesperson about Innovatus Solar's turnkey services, including feasibility studies, engineering, construction, and financing. <music>